I don't go to the movies very often. Nope. But what gets me to the movies is movies I really want to see. I'm not one of these moviegoers that's like, oh, people said this movie's pretty good. Let's go see it. I'm not one of those kind of movie guys. I go when I really want to see a movie. I really wanted to see Napoleon. I went. You drove really, all of us along. I really wanted to see Beetlejuice. Beetlejuice. I went. I really wanted to see Winnie the Pooh one and two, murder some people. I went. So this week I really wanted to see Terrifier three. Now I've seen Terrifier one many years ago, and I was wow, what a gore fest. But it was one of those things where, and this is the kind of moviegoer that I am, when the second one came out in 2022, I'm like, oh, I want to go see that. And then I never went and saw that. And then it disappeared from my brain, and I never actually saw it. So when I heard about three, I was like, oh, shit, I want to see that. And then I was like, oh, shit, I haven't even seen two yet. So I saw two on Amazon Prime for free. And then I went to the theater and saw number three. And I will tell you this right now. Number three is the best one yet. Joey Vegas, I fucking loved this movie. I love it because it's fucked up. I just, I, there's just something about this movie that I love. I can't really put my finger on it, but I'll tell you something. I'm not alone. $23 million at the box office opening weekend. I'm telling you, go see this movie. And you could go to Amazon Prime and see the first two if you haven't. I recommend it because there's ties. There's plenty of ties from the old movies to this one. So you have to see the first two before you see the third one. I mean, it's getting good reviews. This thing had a budget of $2 million. It made $23 million over the four-day weekend, which, by the way, the article that I saw earlier referred to Monday as Indigenous People's Day. <laughs> yeah. It did not refer to it as Christopher Columbus Day at all. It was Indigenous People's Day, even in the Hollywood Reporter. Yeah. I I don't want to see this movie. It's in 2,500 cinemas. Why don't you want to see it? Because uh, I'm not a big gore fest person. I went by myself. Well, That's how bad I wanted to see this movie. I went alone. Now, Joey Vegas, you did tell me that you would have went. You would have gone with me had I not gone to the 820 showing. Yes. But I wanted to see it in XD, so I had to go to the 8. It was either 820 or 1120. And it's a Tuesday, so I chose 820. Yeah, I wasn't going to do that. That's too late. I, I, like, I don't need to see it. I didn't see the first two. I is there is there even a plot line? Yes. Or is it just this dude murdering people? No, 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 no. There's 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 that's what I'm saying. You have to see the second, at least the second one. Because you, you, you kind of don't have to see the first one if you really don't want to, but you got to see the second one because the main baby faces from the second one are in the third one. They're back in the third one. Oh, so they didn't die. No, they're back in Art's back to get them. But this time, it's Christmas. And I'll, I'll tell you the other thing I liked about this movie is Art the Clown, in this one in particular, more so than the previous two, is hilarious. Hilariously funny. And you've got this weird dichotomy where you have this clown who's killing people in ways in movies that I don't think has ever been done before ever violently. I'll tell you this. I never knew what it would be like to see somebody get a chainsaw up their asshole. I saw it. Wow. And 
at the same time that he's viciously murdering everybody in sight, kids included, he's making you laugh. Everybody laughed at all of his jokes. And by the way, he doesn't talk. So there's a skill level to that. It's almost like watching it's almost like watching Charlie Chaplin with clown paint kill people. Do you think he's Academy Award nominated? Oh, film? of course. Of course not. I mean, it is 73% critics and 88% audience score. Um, another one that you might see Friday, uh, Smile 2. Yeah, see, I never saw the first Smile. Is getting 84% critic reviews. Yeah. So Let me tell you something. Art the Clown is whooping Joker's ass. Oh, yes. And that should tell you something right then and there. Art the Clown is whooping that ass. Now, what, I, what, what kind of blew my mind about this movie is that it's unrated. I didn't even realize that movies went to the theater unrated. I don't think they do. I read here from the New York, uh, sorry, the uh, Hollywood Reporter. Well, it froze up. Of course it did. Yeah. So the Hollywood Reporter was saying that this is something because of COVID and what COVID did to the film business and going to movies was the reason that movie theaters were willing to play this movie that is unrated. Now, they didn't start rating movies until, I think, 68. So rating movies has not been around for all of that long. My mother's technically only two years older than the movie rating system. Casablanca had no rating. Obviously, Casablanca has no gore in it. So it's a different kind of unrated. Does that make sense? Yes. So they're giving a lot of the props, I guess you could say, for Terrifier 3 to make it to the theaters in as many theaters as it did as an unrated movie. It's the second unrated film to open number one after Renaissance, a film by Beyonce, also opened at number one, but it debuted with $21.8 million in December of 2023. This movie beat that. So here's here's a breakdown, a market share, if you will, because I Googled this for you. So from 1995 to 2024, so a pretty big chunk, mm-hmm. okay, the number one rating, uh, well, I should say the number one box office rating as far as uh, dollars is PG-13. Mm-hmm. There was only 3,546 movies rated PG-13. But they took in one hundred and twenty six trillion two hundred and eighty nine million three hundred seventy six thousand five hundred and three dollars. Oh, my God. And it's a forty eight point two four percent share. Now, the second rated R has five thousand eight hundred ninety five, but has only taken in sixty eight billion seven hundred fourteen million nine hundred seventy eight thousand two hundred ninety two with a twenty six percent share. And then it goes PG of one thousand seven hundred and one. With fifty four uh, billion, G is four hundred and eight. There's only been four hundred and eight movies since ninety five that have been rated uh, G, and it's only got nine billion. Now here's number five, not rated. Huh? Can you guess how many not rated films have been released in theaters from ninety five to two thousand twenty four? Thirty. Not even close. 5,846. Oh <laughs> but the reason they're number five is because they've only taken in $1.9 billion, yeah. a 0.75% share. NC 17, 24 movies. Yeah. Open rating, five, mo- mov- uh, five, uh, five movies. And then one uh, not rated yet. And then GP, which is, I don't know what okay. GP is, and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that tells you there has been a crap load of not rated movies released but nobody goes and sees them 
Because it's only one point nine billion. Yeah, because it's it, but in Terrifier three is already on its way to becoming the number one unrated movie. Oh, in a heartbeat of all time. So, uh, Screen Rant here published a story ten hours ago. Bella Garcia, shout out. Terrifier three's astounding opening weekend box office. Could have been even bigger if teenagers weren't seemingly buying tickets to other movies and sneaking in. The theaters, even though this movie has no rating, theaters are treating it like it's rated R. So if you're under the age of 17 and you're not with an adult, they're not going to let you in. So what kids are doing is they're buying movie tickets to other movies and going in to see Terrifier 3. That's harder to do these days because you have assigned it really seats now. Is. It really when is. When it wasn't assigned seats and you could just go in, that was easy. But it's kind of like going to the ballpark, though, or a sporting event. You just sit in the seat until somebody comes and says, hey, that's my seat. If nobody comes to say, hey, that's my seat, then you just sit there all night and you watch the movie. Well, yeah. So it's the same thing like a sporting event. But, yes, sporting events have always, I shouldn't say always, but for a long time, have had assigned seating and movies. It's pretty much a, a new thing. But yeah, so it seems certain young moviegoers have found a way around theaters' internal security by purchasing tickets to the wild robot <laughs> and sneaking into Terrifier 3. As distributors noticed, a box office bump for the animated film. Two distribution sources noted over the weekend that DreamWorks Animation and Universal's The Wild Robot saw a noticeable bump, and they speculate that teenagers and tweens are buying tickets to that film and then sneaking into Terrifier 3. The same trend continued on Monday's Indigenous People's Day holiday. (laughs) Sorry. Sorry, Columbus. Yeah. Isn't that funny? That's, that's funny. That's hilarious. That makes sense, though. I mean, I feel bad for but if it. Because it's not rated. So I feel that you should be able to get in there. Well, they got to. But, they, I mean, it's pretty gory, I though. Mean, you can't have a 12-year-old going in there. They're going to have nightmares for weeks. You had people dying. You had people dying. You had people throwing up in the first 10 minutes of the premiere, which, by the way. That was in the U.K., too. I saw the first 10 minutes. Obviously, I saw the whole movie. I could see why people were throwing up in the first 10 minutes. Because I think it's a, it's a mindset, right? You're going in there like you went in there. You saw the first two. You knew what to kind of expect. Yeah. Even if they didn't come out with the article of people throwing and up. And I was excited for it, too. Yeah. And you're like, I know what to expect in this movie. Couldn't wait. I think some people that went to the premiere were like, oh, it's a premiere. Yay. And then they realized, <laughs> they were like, oh, shit, I didn't expect that. There's a video online this guy told his sister that terrifier three was a family film (laughs) and he recorded her reaction as she was watching the beginning of that movie and she was shocked and she looked over at him and she said you fucking lied to me this isn't a children's this isn't a family movie but how could everybody has a cell phone you could google it i'll tell you the one thing i really like about terrifier three and I feel like, and I could be completely off base here, and I'm sure somebody's going to correct me if you want to do so, fordfeedback at gmail.com, or you can leave us a message, 813-485-4130. But what I really like about Terrifier and Art the Clown specifically is they don't care. They don't care who they're killing. They will kill children if that means that's what the story needs. And I I like that because I feel like killing children is not something that really happens a lot in horror movies. I I could be wrong. I don't know how many kids Freddie actually killed on camera or Jason on camera. I don't really know. But Art the Clown... It's killed a few, a few children. A few. So he, this is why it's such a shock. Because, again, I like to provide numbers for you. I appreciate this. Yeah. So Terrifier number one yes. was released September 25th, 2018. 
So before COVID. Before I think I saw it that year. That's probably the year I yeah. saw it. 2018, 2019, something like that. Yeah. So the production budget of this one was $35,000. Okay. Yeah. The opening weekend, 123957 that's an indie film right there. Yes. And the total domestic box office was 339946 But that was good enough to get a second one. Yes. And the worldwide box office was 342000 So only about 3000 more the rest of the world. They didn't like it. Second one, October 6th, 2024. No, 2022. Ter- or sorry, 2022. Yes, you're correct. Uh, Terrifier 2, $250,000 budget. So got a little bump. Yep. Also got a bump opening weekend, 805,000. Yep, I knew that number. And then domestic, hey, it caught on. Domestic box office, 10,962,000. In total. In total. And then the world. But only $800,000 opening weekend. Correct. And the worldwide was 15 million. Yeah. But obviously this one, $2 million budget. $2 million budget. 18.9 million opening weekend. And then if you added it, if you added in Indigenous Peoples Day, it was over. It's over twenty one million. Correct. And right now it's twenty five point four million domestic box office. Twenty eight million for worldwide box office. Is so, it? So there will be a Terrifier four. Yes, he's a brand now. He is, folks. Art, Art the clown. He's a brand. He's a Halloween costume. Yes. He's a video game next year. He is now a brand. He is going to be doing comic cons for the next thirty years. And if we know anything. About cash cows is they're going to milk this fucker for all it's worth, and he's going to keep doing movies and movies and movies and movies and, and movies. And personally, I think the director, whoever he is, Damien Leone. Damien Leone. I don't know who produced the movie. I, I don't know any of that unless he, he did wrote it. it and produced it. Okay. Uh, does he have a? F- I would keep it indie though. Like I mean, yeah. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't try to sign on to a studio as much as they're going to yeah. say, "Hey, we want you because yeah. we know you're going to make a ton of money." Yeah, but I keep get it, it, but it's keep it, it away from them. Keep it indie, baby, because I think you're going to have better. Because once a studio gets on and they're like, "Well, you can't be shoving chainsaws up people's, you know what's, yeah, you can't be chopping off little kids' heads." I don't know if that happens. That I'm does just happen. Like, okay, see, I just assumed, and <laughs> you can't be cutting uh, pregnant women's wombs with babies in them. That also happens. Really? Not in this one, but it has happened. Oh, okay. Yeah. So I'm on the right track. You are. You can't do that with DreamWorks, okay? You just, yes. you, you, you just <laughs> can't. You, you can't. Disney won't touch it. Yeah. Uh, you know, so I think keep it indie. Terrifier 4. You'll see it. Can't wait. You'll see it. Maybe Go I'll out. see all three by that time. Go out and see Terrifier 3. If you haven't seen it, do it. If you're into horror movies, do it. If you ever thought nothing could be topped, nothing could get crazier than it, right? He kills kids. Art says, hold my chainsaw. I feel people have killed kids because Freddy Krueger killed kids only. Right? Look, he may have, but I don't know if Freddy ever chopped a kid's head off. (laughs) I I don't know. I haven't seen every Freddy movie. Art has chopped kids' heads off. That's that's great, actually. It's... You got to see it. And not everybody dies on camera, which I love. I love. I love. I just love. I love, love, love. I'm going to see it again and again.